This is the Live Music Showcase from WMNF Community Radio in Tampa. On the show today, Ashley Smith and the Random Occurrence. Hey, hey. That's our band. Hey, guys, welcome to Live Music. Thank you for having WMNF. us. Yeah, let's, yeah. Uh, let's start off with a tune, huh? Absolutely. We're going to start off with uh, a song called Loneliness, My Lover. Sometimes I wonder, is loneliness my lover? And am I breaking his heart by longing for another? Does he even know it? Why don't he ever show it? Like a poet's winter moon, soft-spoken interludes. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ashley Smith and the Random Occurrence, our band on today's show. Ashley, why don't you introduce the folks in the band here? Yes, I would absolutely love to. So to my left is the sparkle, as we call him, Mr. Nick Ewing. <laughs> That's right. Nick is actually leaving for Scotland tomorrow morning, so he is... Uh, Can go over and play some Scottish fiddle tunes? I got asked to bring my violin with me, so I'm very, very excited. That is yeah. exciting. Yeah. To my right is Mr. John Solaire, who writes and sings and plays and does it all. So. That's right. El Guapo. That's right. And then Mr. David Diaz on those low lows. On the bass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, folks, if you are watching us right now on Facebook, you can see this lovely band on your on your computer or whatever you got on Hi your phone guys. you can check that out at LMS WMNF on Facebook LMS WMNF and be watching us live on Facebook later on you can watch us on YouTube as well in addition to like four years of shows Cool. yeah it's really great Ashley Smith and the random occurrence how'd you come up with that name uh, well that's kind of funny. yeah it's funny you would ask that <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's, there's the greatest uh, movie of all time. Yeah. <laughs> so John and David have had been in a band before. Uh, they've actually been playing together since they were kids, and um, they've had a few different bands. But they have one very important thing in common, and that is the movie The Ladies Man. I don't ever. Can we not? Like, can we not? <laughs> I, mean, I hate true. that that is how we got our name. But <laughs> they love that movie, and they told me when when I start, I became part of the band. They're like, hey, this is kind of like a, a, a coming of age. <laughs> like, you have to watch this movie. If you don't like the movie, it's not going to work out. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, well. <laughs> oh, geez. So I pretended to like the movie for them. <laughs> That's uh, good. You got to play along with the boys. You know, you do sometimes. Yeah. No, but it's 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 a ridiculous movie. And uh, the random occurrence is a little. Just a small line. Very in small line in it. But also, like, as we started playing, we didn't know what we were. We didn't know we had other people kind of coming in and we didn't know how, who was going to be a part of it. And still to this day, we have people come and play with us yeah. and add elements to it that are totally random. But not random. randomly. I mean, they just all of a sudden don't just get up. And sometimes they do. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes it happens. Random. No, it has definitely happened. And okay. that's part of the beauty. So, yeah. Hey, do us another song. All right, you got it. What's this going to be here? This next song is called Free. After we uh, get about halfway through the song, you'll realize that that's the name. <laughs> for good reason. Freedom, then you know what I'm asking for. 
Music from Ashley Smith and the random occurrence on our show today. Yeah. Tremendous amount of energy being expended here, folks. Woo! <laughs> Broke a little sweat in that one. This is the live music show from WMNF in Tampa. Mark Perfetti mixing it up in the control room today, assisted by Dr. Richard Stone, who is also our YouTube okay. producer. He'll have the show up on YouTube later on tonight or tomorrow. On the TV end of things, we got Bob Hoke doing the directing. On cameras, Bill Brame, Jane Goldie, John Francis Banker running cameras today. And we'd like to give a special shout out to our buddy Bev Capshaw in the control room, in, in master control here at WMNF, making sure that the show gets on the air, which is pretty important. I would say that's probably uh, probably the most important thing. <laughs> Definitely one of them. So <laughs> tell us about yourself, uh, Ashley Smith. How did you get started singing and what... what uh, I have been singing for as long as I can remember. I've been singing since I was about three years old. My parents have videos of me like making up songs. I probably know. could have figured that out. You know, I always <laughs> loved it. It was always a part of my life. Um, I actually went off to college and went to business school, though I didn't think it was realistic. I didn't think uh, it made any sense, but I had a really crazy loss in my life and it kind of like woke me up to the fact that life is short and if you're not doing what you love, what are you doing? You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've been doing it ever since. And uh, I'm going on 15 years, which is crazy. That 15 I've years singing professionally? Professionally, yeah. With bands and stuff? Exactly. I don't know I don't know if you call it professionally, professionally, but yeah, I mean, I made money doing it for about 15 years. It's oh. professional. Yeah. 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 But um, yeah, I've always, I've, I've been doing different things, um, event bands and that kind of stuff, and I was just missing something, you know, <laughs> I needed... I needed my heart back, you know, I needed to write again. And I was with another band years ago and it was kind of like a, a bad divorce. You know, I had to take a break from writing and um, then I met these guys and it was just like kismet, you know. It's how, like, did you, how did you meet these, these folks? Um, well, like I said, these two have been friends and have been playing together for years. That's in, in John and David. You're all in Tampa, right? Yep, we're all Tampa based. Um, Nikki's from Pittsburgh, but he, yeah, he has been living in, in Tampa now for a while. And um, so uh, these two guys that I ran it, ran into each other um, actually at Rock the Park downtown, uh -huh. and we're like, you know what? We've been talking about this for a long time. Let's actually get together and jam and when just see this? what happens. Uh, a little over two years ago. Okay. And um, the first night that we all got together, we wrote two songs. We just like <clears throat> wrote two amazing songs, and we're like, holy cow, we have something here, like something really special, and. Um, it was probably a couple weeks later, the guys had been telling me about this Nick Ewing, this amazing, <laughs> amazing violinist, and like I got to meet him, and he's such a performer and such a great player, and I'm like, okay, you know, I'm like a little intimidated, and then this big teddy bear walks in <laughs> that is Nick Ewing. Uh, we call him Nick the Crier. Oh, he man. may be big and bearded, but he is a very sensitive, sweet oh, guy. Yeah. Well, that's good. And a hell of a player. <laughs> and he's crying now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ashley Smith and the Random Occurrence, our band on today's show. You can, you can uh, see these guys coming up uh, at Hooch and Hive. Uh, is that tonight? Yeah. Tonight, tonight, tonight at 9 p.m. Yes. They're going to be playing there. Yes. And then uh, in a few days, on Tuesday, they're going to be playing at Instruments for Life Benefit. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be at Skipper's. Uh, that's where they give instruments to kids, yeah, right? Yeah, to uh, the underprivileged youth. And you guys could actually probably talk more about this. It's actually John and David started this foundation. Oh, well, we'll talk about that in the next break. Okay. Then. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. There's a lot to, a lot to be said. And then you all are going to be at the Clearwater Jazz Holiday Festival on yeah. Sunday, October the 20th, looking down the road there. Yes. And you've got a uh, Facebook page, Ath Ashley Smith and the Random Occurrence. Yep. And check it out there. Let's have another song. All right. This next song is called Atmospheric, and uh, it's really about loving someone from afar, and it's actually kind of taken on a really important meaning to us because we lost a close friend of ours about a year ago, and it, uh, it was a special song to him, and every time we've played the song and tried to record it, there was one uh, video that we tried to do and it kept cutting off the power, like right in the middle of the song, every time we played just the song. Oh my. And so we're like, he's listening, you know, he's, he's doing this just to mess with us. So atmospheric, hope you guys enjoy it. How nice 
spend some time with you again.
great song from Ashley Smith and the Random Occurrence. Our Tampa-based band, who's on the show today, we're having a good time with these folks. You can watch us live here on Facebook, LMSWMNF, to everybody who wants to see what these folks look like. Or you can be listening to us online at WMNF.org anytime you want. And we'll be on the archive on WMNF.org after this. But also, you can uh, watch us on YouTube starting tonight or tomorrow morning, courtesy of Dr. Richard Stone. Mark Perfetti mixing it up today, assisted by the aforementioned Dr. Stone. Bob Hoke directs the TV portion of the show. We've got Bill Brame, Jane Goldie, and John Francis Banker on cameras. Bev Ka- Bev Beverly Capshaw is in the master control here at WMNF. And we also heard from Marcy and Tom Connors, who are out in Sedona, Arizona. Wow, lots of stuff going on out there in Sedona. They got a lot of big red rocks out there. I hope they're hope they're cruising around looking at those big red rocks. Yeah, it's an amazing yeah. place. Anyway, they they they're watching the show. They said the music is great, and uh, thank you oh. to all the folks that are helping out here on the show today. Thank Marcy you. and Tom, thank you ordinarily run cameras here on our show. Oh, okay. So, yeah. And they're out in Sedona, huh? Yeah, I think that's the capital of some new age stuff out there. You Maybe know, they're, they're taking some kind of a uh, advanced meditation that class. That is or, so cool. I've heard some really incredible things <laughs> about Sedona, you know? It's supposed I, to be a magic I don't think place. they're actually doing that. I was just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would be the place to do it. Though. It would be. Do it. it would be. There's lots of stuff happening out yeah. there. Very cool place. Yeah. So anyway, um, uh, Ashley Smith and the Random Occurrence, our mm-hmm. guests today on the show. Let's talk to uh, uh, David and John on uh, on uh, bass and uh, guitar, respectively, and how you guys happen to come together and do your thing. Uh, me and John know don't, each don't, other. Don't both, ru- don't both rush over to the mic there. <laughs> <laughs> John and I have known each other since we were like sixth grade, fifth grade. Um, and we've here in town? Here in Tampa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, kind of grew up together and uh, actually... The story of Instruments for Life, was, which is the charity that uh, yeah, we well, kind of started. That, so that was about, I guess, eight or nine years ago. And uh, So what's us, the deal on that? So that is, uh, we go around, we give music lessons uh, to uh, children around Tampa Bay at uh, a lot of different organizations and after-school centers, and uh, just trying to bring a little music and joy into their life, because you know, it's no secret that that's been cut out of uh, a lot of schools. And, yeah. In, uh, wow, and so we, yeah. we've, we've, we've grown that for a while. It's been something we've been pretty passionate about over the... And you help them find instruments and things too? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, basically how, how it works, and John can, can uh, speak on it as well, but, uh, you know, we, we go and give them lessons, and usually we try to give them a series of lessons, uh, you know, eight to ten weeks um, at most places. And once they complete that, we invite them back to try to teach the new wave of students so they can... Uh, you know, learn some leadership skills, mentorship oh, yeah, skills, and that yeah. will... That's a great idea. And from that... How, it, how old are these kids? They range from um, 8, eight to, to 18. 13 is, the, is like predominantly what we work with, but they can go all the way up to yeah. 18. You said 8 to 13? Uh, well, predominantly, but it can go up to 18, but mostly it's 8 to 13. Yeah, right now it's 8 to 13 based on the centers we're in, but we've been in a lot of other places that have been high school age and, and oh, whatnot. Cool. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. And you help them get instruments, though, too, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, if they come back and, and help the next wave, then well, they're, they're going to earn that You can help them actually uh, Tuesday at the Skipper Show. True. Okay. So we'll That's a benefit. That's there. a yep. benefit for yeah. Instruments for Life, in, uh, uh, number four, mm-hmm. Instruments for Life benefit at Skippers. Who's yeah. playing on that, guys? Yeah. So that's uh, that's us, uh, Ashley Smith and Miranda. You, you guys are being on stage. At, <laughs> you guys are on stage at seven o'clock. We're on stage at seven. Uh, unfortunately, Nikki's going to be in Scotland, but we're going to have uh, drums and an uh, excellent guitar uh, guitarist by Brian Smith. It's going to join us and uh, Andrew Kilmartin on the drums. Yep. And, and then, then David and I's uh, former band, uh, <laughs> Folly Dean, will be making a, a reunion. Oh, re- cool. re- wow. yeah, reunion, okay. Reunion show, and then the uh, Flow Sisters will be headlining. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. that's great. Okay. So we're excited about that. So that's, that's uh, com- this coming Tuesday at Skippers. I got okay. kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a great time. It is. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So, Ashley, do you write all the songs? Um, we collectively write these songs. Um, some of them John's written. Some of them uh, I came to the table and wrote. And then a lot of them lately we've just been kind of collaborating together. So it's just a... Uh, I, I guess we kind of came with what we had in the beginning, and now we're on that next phase where we come together and with a concept, and we all kind of contribute our own part. So that's great. That's yeah. Great. Well, do us another song. All right. This this next song is called Les Mots, and uh, that is French for the words. We actually wrote this on Valentine's Day, right after we got together. Um, it was probably a week after. This is like our third song that we wrote. So. So 
once again today Start to understand You make me wanna sing Mighty fine. <laughs> Pretty little ditty. Yeah. Boy, really atmospheric there. You know? Yeah. Really, really. <laughs> That's going to be funny. <laughs> Wait a minute. That was the name of the last song. It I, was. I must have been confused. But, you know, maybe we should, maybe we should have named that. What I would have said is uh, it creates a real mood. Ah, uh, that was the goal, you know. It was yeah. Valentine's Day after all. Yeah, yeah. We want to make people fall in love on that one, you know. Well, hey, let's talk to that guy who's noodling around on the fiddle back there. <laughs> <laughs> Nikolai. Hello. Nick Ewing. And, uh, and uh, uh, folks, if you just tuned in, we're listening to Ashley Smith and the Random Occurrence, the band of that name. And that beautiful sound you heard there backing up Ashley was uh, Nick Ewing on the, on the violin. You call it a violin? Man, if I had a dollar for every time I said that, I could have paid for this thing. I have a uh, five-string violin. I started on viola at Orange Grove Magnet Middle School and decided that after... In Pittsburgh or here? No, here in Ebor, actually, over oh, 22nd cool. Ave. And started on viola because uh, nobody wanted to pick up viola in my orchestra. Yeah, sort of the... Sort of the uh, there were 17 <laughs> violinists, eight yeah. cellos, three bassists, and I was I the know. only viola player. Yeah, I have a good friend who's a viola player. I mean, she tells me about that. <laughs> Got real tired of that, switched to a five-string, um, finally decided Which to... Is sort of a, a halfway in between I exactly mean, you, got, it has you got your low string on there mm -hmm. what is it a c got a c on the bottom g d a and e and yeah. it's been very very helpful got me into a lot of different transitions and uh, genres of music i wasn't able to perform with a viola so it was really nice well how'd you get started uh, doing this with Ashley Smith? Well, or... In general. In um, general and with Ashley. Man, I, I was in here three years ago with a drop-in pickup a long, long time ago. Yeah, I remember that. It was very, very... I remember sitting right about where I'm at now. Yeah. And uh, st played in school, got to a point where I was tired of playing classical music and wanted to get into something a little bit more... Um, I, I had everybody always ask, Nick, can you play Devil Went Down to Georgia? And I got real <laughs> tired of hearing that, so I decided to actually try and learn it, so... 
from there, just played with Ashley, and it's been a family like I've never seen before in music. It's been something beautiful and contributive to each one of us. We've all been able to have a little bit of uh, spice and flavor added to this uh, tomato bay whoop, as David would like to call it. And uh, it's been really lovely ever since. been super thankful to be part of this family. So you're from Pittsburgh originally? Originally. I moved oh, down yeah. here when I was six. Oh, yeah, me too. I grew up in Pittsburgh. No kidding. But I left cool. there just after the... Uh, Spanish-American War. And came down <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! That's <laughs> great. But now I've been down here ever since, and just really excited to play. I've been playing with a bunch of different people recently, so it's been really fun and exciting to get a chance to. You play with a bunch of different uh, in different bands. I guess each band wants you to play a certain way, or do you just you just do what you do? Do they? Do We're going to go with the second one. Yeah. Do they give you? <laughs> do they say, "Hey, would you do this or that?" Or? I've been asked to play certain. Uh, specific arrangements, um, but other than that, people are just telling me to go up there and free just sparkle. Just do what you do, Nick. Yeah, yeah. Just go up and I like to call it free sparkling <laughs> uh, instead of freestyling. It's called I'm calling it free sparkling. It's true. <laughs> well, a- Ashley Smith and the Random Occurrence, our band today on the Live Music Showcase. I'm Bill Dudley. We do this show every Friday afternoon here at Community Radio WMNF. If you enjoy the show, you want to make a contribution, mm-hmm. easy to do. Give us a call here at eight one three two three eight. 8001 or go to WMNF.org and we got the tip jar right there waiting right. for you. Right. <laughs> if you love live music like we do here on the show. Let's have another song. Yes, you got it. So this is actually um, our most recent song. We just played this one out live for the first time a couple days ago. Ooh, a brand new song. A brand new. This one's called Limbo. And the idea of this song is... Uh, we're kind of personifying creativity and as if it can it, it exists and it's tangible and if you don't grasp it it lives in limbo uh. and it will go to somebody else and be their creativity so you kind of have to bring it into fruition and harness it you know so limbo
Got me by surprise. Yeah. <laughs> us too. Yeah, us too. Us too, for sure. Very new song, so yeah. You know, you can tell a lot about a band by their endings. Yeah? You know, and bands, you know, it's really you know, up to the, the personality of the band is reflected in the ending. Some bands always end on like a four, five chord or something, you know, and hmm. some bands end like really all of a sudden up in the air and some bands kind of end really nice and slow and it's very interesting. What do we do? <laughs> well, you're doing a little bit of everything. I know. I'm like, do we do any one thing? Because I, I, we're always like, how do we want to end? Just wait. We how do we want to start? Well, this? yeah, endings are important. You know, yeah. they're they're important. Yeah. We only got good recently, so. <laughs> Shakespeare said, "All's well that ends well." So. <laughs> right. We're yeah. working on it. Right. So actually, when you started singing, who were your influences? Who did you want to take uh, after when you were a little? I guess when you were a little girl, right? When I was little. Um, who was on the record player? I loved Or did they still Jewel, have records? Jewel, Alanis Mor- Morissette. Um, they were huge for me. Uh, the Cranberries. I oh, the them. Cranberries. The Cranberries. Yeah, yeah. Um, but as I got further along, Eva Cassidy, Aretha Franklin. Oh, you know about Eva Cassidy? Oh, yeah. I love she her. was wonderful. Yeah, she really was. And um, I remember I loved her music so much. And when I found out she was already gone, I was like, no, I was devastated. I yeah. like mourned the loss of her. She died fairly young. I she think. did. She did. It was it was pretty tragic. She was incredible. Um, yeah. But Melody Gardot is a huge influence of mine. Um, and Maggie Kerner uh, out of New Orleans. She's uh, definitely one of the, my my top five. Uh-huh. So yeah, I've I've had a lot over the years, and it's kind of evolved, and I come back to certain things. But yeah, I've had a lot, a lot of different influences. Etta James, hmm. you know. Etta James, yeah. Yeah. Well, folks, this is uh, the band is Ashley Smith and the Random Occurrence. How do you mm-hmm. keep from getting? How do you get to keep from people putting S on the end of your name or your band? No one has spelled our right name right in. Two and a half years. It's a very yeah. difficult. Including occurrence us. is a difficult word. We've learned. Two C's, yeah. two R's, no A's, <laughs> no S's either. <laughs> no yeah. S's except no. for Smith yes. and <laughs> Ashley. There's, yeah, there's, there's a couple S's in there, but not an occurrence. talking about occurrence. Not an yeah. occurrence. <laughs> not yeah, occurrence. no, occurrence has been a doozy for us. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have spelled it's been a doozy. <laughs> we have spelled, have it, wrong. spelled it wrong. <laughs> yeah. In every flyer that goes <laughs> we out. We spelled it wrong to begin with. We should start a movement to yes. spell occurrence yeah. right or just change it yeah. to the way that everybody spells it. Well, our acronym is ASTRO. So a lot of times we've been going by that. Just ASTRO, yeah. You know? Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah. Too bad ASTRO.com has been gone for a long time. Well, you, could, you, could, you could abbreviate occurrence into OC and then a- Ashley Smith and the random OC, O period, C period. And people say, oh, what, what's that? Ooh. You people, heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. People would be trying to figure <laughs> like out it. what it is, you know? Yeah. yeah. And then we'd we'll be like, we can't tell you what the OC is. <laughs> can't tell you. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I think you're on So to anyway, these guys are going to be appearing uh, at Hooch and Hive tonight, tonight, tonight. At, mm-hmm. at, uh, at Hooch and Hive is where they're appearing. And that is in Tampa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, close and to downtown. That's, that's gonna, they're going to be on stage at 9 o'clock tonight, folks. And then they're going to be on Tuesday night at the uh, benefit we were talking about at Skipper's, Instruments for Life Benefit. And they're going to be taking the stage at 7 p.m. there. So get there early. Don't miss them. And then later on in October, they're going to be at Clearwater Jazz Holiday. Yes. That's a big deal, huh? Yeah, man. We get to open up for Allison Krauss. Um, oh, yeah. And she's, yeah, she's another one. I don't know why I didn't add that to the list, but I've, you know, I've loved her music since I was a little girl, too. Oh, that'll be great. And, uh, you, have you met her? Never. No, no. It'll be a first. Well, um, hopefully you get to hang out with her. Hopefully. That, my fingers are crossed. We're definitely, we're definitely going to be hanging out uh, in hopes to meet her at the end of the night. So. And she's got a killer band, of course. <sighs> she's an excellent yeah. fiddle player. Huge, yeah. huge inspiration for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, that's really great. Do us another song. All right. Boys are already on it. This next song is called Wish That I. Well, I 
I don't cry like I used to Won't live no lie like I used to And after all that we've been through Well, I, I wish that I Oh, is it I loved you? Is it I? Oh, is it I want to? Is it I? Oh, is it I needed you? Oh, yeah, I wish it I oh, is it I loved you? Is it I? Oh, is it I want to? Is it I? Oh, is it I needed you? Well, I don't cry like I used to. There's no you and I. Like that used to be I get so tired of the faces I sit and talk Coming from different places I wonder what You're gonna turn at me this It's not about you It's not about me But we've got to wake up To face the truth of reality Then why I wish that I Wish that I love is it I want to? Is it I? Is it I needed you? Baby, I wish it I. Is it I loved you? Is it I? Is it I want to? Is it I? Is it I needed you? Well, I don't cry Guys, that was really beautiful. What a great song. Thank you. Oh, man, I oh, love that. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you so that much. It was really nice. It's called Wish That I. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, I forgot to ask you, you guys have any kind of CD or anything out? Uh, we? <laughs> working on it? We're working on it. Working on it. Okay, yes, working on it. Yes, we, uh, we have done some recording, and we just, 
we haven't been completely satisfied with with anything that uh, we've recorded yet so it's just we want it to be right when we release it and yeah. uh yeah coming soon quality over quantity okay. yes yeah and, sure. and you've got a facebook page yep and facebook, also uh and instagram what's the instagram it's uh ashley smith and tro uh, okay. on instagram and then uh, we have if you go on youtube we've got some videos up uh we've got atmospheric and we also did um a video for three goodbyes which we haven't played yet ah but we're gonna play next actually yeah um that we did with so far sound so that was a really cool experience too. thank you well, taylor rayner yes yeah, and also great. tampa sessions oh job. yes and of course tampa sessions thanks um, joe thanks Alyssa. yes we love you guys um when are we doing dinner <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes well ashley smith and the random occurrence you've been listening to them on our live music showcase here from 88.5 WMNF in Tampa. I'd like to thank our great LMS crew, Mark Perfetti, assisted today by Dr. Richard Stone, Bob Hoke on uh, directorial duties, cameras today, Bill Brame, Jane Goldie, John Francis Banker, Beverly Capshaw is in master control at WMNF, and Marcy and Tom Connors here in spirit. We've got uh, just about four minutes. Can you make this song last four minutes? Oh, yes, we can. Okay, all right. And thanks, guys, for coming on the show today. It's been a blast. Thank you so much for having us. It's been a blast for us, too. Don't take the blame. Don't look back deep in thought. Losses. There's nothing for you here. So go away before you're gone again. No!